hey there guys welcome to a review of the a sports camera that i bought from ebay this i think i got from hong kong um it's basically a uh, dual charger for uh, two batteries of the um, SJ9000, that's what the label of the camera was when I bought it, and uh, along with two uh, SJ cam batteries, uh, 3.7 volt lithium, um, lithium ion batteries. So yeah, you just put it in like that, and that one like so. It just plugs it in into this, and um, this is a USB and which plugs into your computer or an outlet socket. So that aside, let's get on to the actual camera. Okay, straight off, uh, they've given us a uh, UK adapter, um, which is good because I live in the UK. And uh, this is, I mean, the box looks a little crushed because this was here and it was wrapped like that. It's a 4K action camera, uh, 2 inch LCD screen, Wi-Fi, 30 meter, waterproof, and it comes in in the case as you can see right there. Let's have a look what it says. So, uh, Wi-Fi control, yes, I don't think if you could, yeah, Wi-Fi control, video output of, it can do 4K, 2K, uh, 1080p at 60fps and 720p at 60fps as well. Goes out to is MP4, JPEG photos, three photos per second, support, 8 to 180 degrees. Operating system is uh, Windows XP, Vista or above, Windows 7, Mac OS. Uh, viewing angle of 170 degrees. By the way guys, if you can't see this, I would recommend that you um, turn it to full screen or else you won't be able to see this writing. 3.7 volts um, lithium ion rechargeable battery, just like the ones uh, two that I bought here. This battery basically lasts about one and a half hours. Um, yeah, and uh, it has a charge time of three hours or so. But it did recommend that if you uh, if it's the first time that you've uh, you're gonna charge it, then it's good to charge it for four hours so that it extends. Uh, you get maximum battery life. So. Let's get to actually cracking this open. Check it out. Uh, there is, of course, a bunch of accessories as it did specify. Let's have a look at the camera itself first, or should we look at the accessories itself first? Let's have a look at the accessories. So, there is uh, these things. I don't actually know what they are. I think they're, they're, I think they're just straps um, to strap stuff to. Say you want to strap it onto your arm or something. I think those are that um this thing which is i'll figure this out in a second mount for uh the camera um this basically slides in where this is you just unscrew this um yeah this here is a clip right there we also have uh some more of these adapters things you have, oh, you have um, one of these, so if it breaks, if the screw breaks or something, you've got more. I think there's three of those. There, oh, uh, well, there's, oh, this one is to um, have it facing different ways. So this one will be making the camera face forward, whereas this one will be making the camera face sideways like that. This is uh, the charger port thing, um, USB. Um, I'm guessing this is a extra back screen um of this an extra one right there another one of these oh i think uh you put this on your bike actually you put them on uh, your bike handle or something and then it goes in through there and that just mounts like so zip ties i think these are called zip ties this is of course another mount adapter thing this is the oh this is the usb um charging uh, cable Cloth, microfiber cloth for um, cleaning the camera lens. And finally, the instruction manual 4K X Ultra Extra HD user manual action camera. Let's finally get to the camera. Okay, as you can see, there are three, no, I can't count. There are four buttons um, that you press. There's the actual lens right there. Uh, I will be wiping that with the. Oh, let's actually wipe that. Let's just get the micro. So, yeah, microfiber cloth. And you just give it a good rub like that or something. 
focus, 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 auto focus, focus. Okay, there we go. Forgot to mention there are also these pad things with this other this other wire thing. All right, guys, I've figured out how to do this. So basically, this thing here you slide across uh, like so, all the way, and then you this arrow here just indicates. Uh, that arrow there just indicates that you need to pull it up and it will release this. Um, there it is. There is the actual camera itself. Look at it, it's tiny. It looks really cool though. It, it of course has like this tab that everything has when there is a screen. I will be peeling that off like so. I don't know if those two bubble things there are intentional or not. I'm pretty sure they are intentional since I think that uh, LED blinkers. I don't. I'm not too sure. There is a HD uh, output micro SD card slot right there, and the charging port can be taken off with your nails, um, but it is actually quite hard to do. So I would definitely recommend. Uh, oh, you also have to push that in so that it clicks. I definitely recommend getting something with a flat edge, um, like a screwdriver or a pencil. It's very difficult for people with um, bigger hands and smaller nails like me. But um, yeah, that's how you get it open. This is the battery. Um, 3.7 um, lithium ion battery as specified. Um, and it is pretty much the same as this SJ cam battery, uh, same in size and pretty much everything. Give it a charge. Okay guys, I did forget to mention that it is a fish eye lens, which means that everything is slightly curved when it's near, as you can see on my keyboard. These two spots that I was talking about before are indeed LED indicators and the memory cards, which I still need to put into this thing okay um i do have the okay it definitely goes in this way because you can see the springiness in it i think you just push that oh hello push that in like so oh i've just turned the wi-fi on video resolution so currently it is at 4k at 30 fps i actually want it to be on, I'll do 1080p at 30 FPS, 